Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to talk about the latest update from Lightroom. I think it's an update worth talking about. From time to time they release updates with the software, but uh, it comes a moment when there's a new tool that comes into the software and that tool usually changes the way we edit photos and we think about editing and this is the case right now there are two main things that Lightroom did with this update the one uh, the, the one is related to the zoom the way you zoom and now you have a further control because you can hold on control and just scroll the wheel and it will automatically zoom interactively you don't need to jump Stry, uh, straight to um, a certain value and this is a big plus the, the way you are moving although this is not the, the biggest improvement but it's a big update for, for the zoom uh, in Lightroom the thing that I want to talk about is a tool that it's called color grading now color grading is a tool that replaced uh, the split toning tool uh, in the split toning tool you were introducing a color in the shadows, a color in the highlights, and then you decided the blending mode between these two, um, what, what should be. That tool was great, but this new tool is an update for the split toning tool. And the biggest difference is that introduces also the mid-tones. And you also have some visual uh, representation of the tool and you know exactly what you are um, what you are getting having these two images uh, there are autumn uh, images from a lake let's start with this one over here and go into the develop panel okay the first thing let's let's just straighten the photo because i, I can see the photo is not straight okay now it's much it's a much better image just by straightening it now um, you'll find color grading as i said where the split toning was and by default you have this view with these three wheels um, what i like is to use individual views if you click here for example you only see the shadows the mid-tones and the highlights you also have a fourth uh, view of for the global personally i i don't know when i would like to shift the entire uh, the entire photo to a certain uh, color I, I will probably never use this so I will go you know, with the shadows and the uh, mid-tones and the highlights now why I'm preferring using uh, individual views rather than having the, the whole uh, all the, the images because when you are on the individual view okay you're seeing the shadows right now you have this panel which is by default closed, but you can open it. And now you have the hue, the saturation, the luminance, and uh, this, uh, this checkbox over here that uh, you, can pick, uh, you can pick some colors from. But it's, it, it offers a lot more information. I mean, in split toning, you were dragging that hue, you were establishing the hue by looking at a really thin and small line. And sometimes this wasn't the perfect way to do it. And right now, when you're starting to move the hue, you see this uh, small dot that rotates. And now you can set the hue intuitively. Now you can see exactly what the hue is. And then the saturation is on this line. So it's, it's very, I mean, visually, because we are photographers, we are editing our photos visually because you have the visual representation. I think it's, it's, it's working a lot, a lot better. And then you have this small eye icon over here. And with this, you can toggle the on and off just for that particular uh, change. I mean, you can use the entire uh, on and off or before and after for the entire color grading tool from here. But you can also use the eye just to turn off the shadows, for example, or the highlights or the mid-tones. So having that control, I mean, it, it may sound, it may sound, uh, I don't know, cheesy. I'm having a lot more. Control. Yes, we're having a lot more control and having a lot more control means that we can produce photos that are far more interesting. Now, let's just go and reset this photo. Whoops, I resetted the 
crop also and let's just do some editing on it just for you to um, to see what you can do with this tool okay so the first thing that I'm noticing um, in the basic panel is that let's show you the histogram is that the contrast is pretty low on this photo so let's just adjust the contrast I'm just pulling the contrast to the right the, that's the only global adjustment that I'm going to do and then I want to edit only with color grading I don't want to do a lot more with all the other tools yes you can do a lot more but I just want to show you what I can do only by using this tool so um, we have the water we have the pine trees and then we have the autumn trees if we go into the tone curve and we click this small icon over here just to find the points and if we hover around above, um, above the pine trees you will see that they are in the lower part of the image in the shadows kind of like a, a little bit towards the midpoint area okay so if i want to control the pine trees or to change their color i, I have to go into the shadows and then these trees over here are more into the midtones not the highlights so the midtones uh, is occupied by these uh, these trees okay now let's go into this tool the color grading tool and uh, click the shadows and in the shadows let's change the hue to some blue and let's increase the saturation just a, a little bit you don't want to overdo this I mean when the dehaze tool uh, was launched everybody was dragging the dehaze to its maximum every tool with every tool I mean you have to use it with caution <laughs> you don't want to go overboard now I will drop down the luminance and I will have the image a little more darker in the shadows and then I'll go to midtones and here is where the three-way view or the, the global uh, tool is, is handy because you can see where you position uh, for example the shadows in terms of hue and if you want to go exactly with the complementary now you see exactly where it where it is and for example in the shadows in the midtones I can go exactly for the complementary color for that blue and this is this is useful and also for the highlights I will, I will go like this so the shadows are in the hue of blue and then I will go with a hue of yellow orange something like this for the midtones and the highlights now let's go into the midtones and let's change the saturation okay and drop down the no the luminance I will go up with this and in the highlights I will also go with this color now we can change the blending now blending means that um, the the areas of the photo in terms of shadows midtones and highlights are divided equally but we can change that and we can introduce a lot more uh, a lot more shadow or a lot more highlight basically we, we are changing the way uh, those divisions are made okay now let's check the tool before so this was uh, nothing to do with the color grading and now after and after you can see there's a lot more that it's happening on the photo just by using this tool so just I'm just using this tool and I'm getting this this image now just imagine that I'm going into the HSL panel and I'm grabbing the oranges and the yellows and the reds and then uh, I can get an interesting image just by doing a few little changes so let's let's take a look the image before and the image after and remember I only did a small contrast for this image and then use the, uh, the color grading tool let's let's take a look uh, very quickly uh, to the other photo we'll not spend that much time on this one but let's just show you what you can do again the let's fix a little bit the exposure and the contrast okay so already the photo is a lot more interesting but right now let's go in, uh, here in the color grading tool and for the shadows 
let's go for the shadows with um, a blue that it's a little bit towards the cyan version of the blue okay let's increase the saturation so why, I'm, why I want cyan because it's early morning it's foggy and I want that feeling um, of of morning haze again I'm going with the with the midtones also in that area and the highlights let's see if if we will have a little bit of separation by introducing some orange yes it's working okay and I'm making the highlights a lot more brighter and the shadows darker okay so let's see before and after and already you see a good separation between the areas and when you can create a separation the subject can pop a lot more in the, I mean it took me only a few seconds to experiment with this and a really beautiful thing is that you can take an image for example a painting or a, a photo that you like you can generate the color scheme uh, for that image and then you can use that color scheme to um, use custom colors and to shift the shadows, the highlights and the midtones exactly in the direction you want. So, and now before ending this video, let me know in comments below if you were using the split toning tool, if you plan to use the color grading tool, if you did you knew that this was the latest update and the color grading tool was there? Have you tried it? How 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 interesting or not interesting uh, you are finding this tool let me know in comments below this and uh, until next time keep on photographing it's the only way to get better thanks for watching and bye bye